I've an awful feeling about this. You'll be hurt out there. I couldn't handle that. I'll be careful, I promise. And when I'm flush with coin and set up, I'll send for you. I will. Caroline, come away! Don't exert yourself! I can't promise I'll come, Edward. If you leave on this fool's errand, I, I cannot promise anything. Don't give up on me, Caroline! Not when I need your faith the most. Putting some shape to your sentiments? Just a short letter home. I reckon she's past caring anyway. Oh, you're a hard heart that should be softer. Or soft in parts that should be hard. <laughs> and how is it you're so keen for his hard parts, Mr. Rackham? My secrets, would you? Oh, aye. Give me a small hint, like. Or a large one, if you're an upright gentleman. Open your hand. Oh! Who's shooting? Might be them ships sliding into port. Jesus. George has grown tired of our shenanigans. Who's the grim fella? That's Captain Woods Rogers. Not a man I want seeing my face. We desire a parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Thatch. Come forth, if you please. Hear about the King's pardon, I reckon. What the hell is Hornigold doing? Lily livered punk! What are you men up to? I am grateful for your geniality, Captain Hornigold. Don't mistake my decorum for deference, Governor. I'm eager to hear what you have to say, but of uncertain mind otherwise. Very well put. And it's a fa Only wait a while longer, Governor Rogers. These rascals will show their true colors in time. Calm, Commodore Chamberlain. I have given Captain Hornigold my word that we will be equitable. Won't do you a look of good. Men like him are a blight on His Majesty's reputation and a peculiar cancer afflicting the new world. The King wants them eradicated, above all else. <clears throat> Is this the town square? As close to one as we've ever had. Incredible. Rackham, Vane, the governor's come calling. Bring Burgess and Cochrane as well. Bad out, lads, and take this shanty town as if it were your own. Governor, you're here at his pleasure. I have my methods, Commodore, and I expect you to honor them to the letter. <laughs> Dispatch, a lot of you. Make way for the king's emissaries. Out of the way, you bastards. Go on. Our only aim here is to treat with the masters of this community. All others are encouraged to go about their usual business. Go on, move. Go! Commodore Chamberlain, please see that all merchants, masons, and carpenters are rounded up and brought to me this afternoon. 
We must see about repairing this fortress. You should be confiscating weapons, Governor. Send these pirates a clear, strong message that the King's emissaries are not to be trifled with. I have no wish to stir up animosity here, Commodore. And though well armed, we are outnumbered by a decent margin. Slow persuasion is our best and most efficient weapon. Twaddle, Governor! We should sink every goddamn ship not flying the King's colors. To do otherwise protects a certain weakness in our bearing. Silence, Commodore! I am the goddamn governor here, serving at the king's pleasure, and I will make the bloody decision. Is that clear, sir? Aye, sir. Your wishes are clear as crystal. These are the charts, Commodore. We're in position. Governor Rogers believes he can make men of these monkeys yet. I do not. Return to your post and await my orders. I pray you take the prudent course, gentlemen, and accept the king's pardon as soon as your hearts allow. For until such time, all of you will be confined in the cell. I am sorry for this. But in lieu of a public trial, this pardon is your best bet. The governor puts it far too brightly, maggots. Take this message home. Accept the King's protection forthwith, or we will raise this town to its foundation and stretch your bloody necks. Peace, Commodore Chamberlain. We are messengers, not executioners. Not yet. Oh, thank you, sir. God save you. Look on this as a stroke of fortune, lads. We should take the King's pardon and salvage what dignity we Peace. owe. I'll be hanged before I surrender to that bobbin. Check your head, Vane. We had here a rare opportunity, a chance to take something base and shape it into a government made and maintained by men of vision. But in two years, we pissed it away. I won't make that mistake again. It's truth he's telling, and you whelps can't handle it. A Jew, you forecastle headed fuddlers. See you at the gallows. You'll all be dead, men! Bastards! I need a drink. Times I put up with Horny Gold and his self righteous shite. Verily, you are a man of principle, Captain Horny Gold. A man I believe I can trust with my best ideas. Faith and we'll survive this, Charles, with our pride intact. Well, that's confidence. If you brewed a plan, I might get a taste of. NASA is over, that's plain to see. I say we skip out tonight and regroup at my compound. Fair enough. What's your angle? The Brits have brought their supplies ashore, see? If we nick some gunpowder and pine pitch, we can build a fire ship and send it straight at the blockade, blasting it to smithereens. Aye. We'll use Rackham's ship. You're a capable captain. 
My conscience is clear. Right. When you get the gunpowder, I'll secure the pine pitch. Come on, boys, you're lagging. It's this bloody hemp. Lieutenant. Shh. Aye, sir. The Commodore fears a revolt is nigh. His orders are to sink every goddamn pirate ship now anchored in that harbor tonight. It's by the governor's wishes, sir. This is a direct order, soldier. You will take position on the grounded galleon and await the Commodore's further orders. Is that clear? Aye, sir. The conniving bastard. Someone ought to slit the Commodore's throat before he gets a chance to bark those orders. You think so? We're dead in the war, otherwise. All right, I'll kill him. Your brains are baked. I won't take no part in killing the Commodore. Not one of the King's men. Well, we can't risk our good fortune. I'll be waiting for you. The governor's given us a pardon, Commodore. Don't a man's word mean anything in these times? A syphilis clouded your mind. Why scratch and claw to protect such squalor? Your parasites feeding off the industry of honest men. Much like King George in that respect. Know your place, peasant! You may have taken my life, but you have not improved your own by any measure. Does some purpose keep you talking? If not for that heathen, Governor Rogers, I'd have seen you hanged from your own cross trees. Worm. All of you. Commodore's dead. Are we ready? We're close. We've got a problem with the galleon. There's a couple of dozen. Bloody hell. You'd raise a cloud here, lout. You sat on enough gunpowder to blow New Providence off its rocks. Lay off me, mate. I'm, I'm well chafed. As I was telling, a squad of lobsters has commandeered our galleon. We're going to have to clear it out before we use them cannons to blow the brocade. Get clear of the fleet now, and we're home free. Yeah! 
mighty mess there. <laughs> Burn your bastards! Yeah! The burden of your ass, governor! Prancing about like they took a prize. <laughs>